Hello everybody and welcome back to another shuttle video. This is the same 10 minute shuttle I was building a few days back and this time I have, well, increased its capabilities. You may have already noticed the two solid rocket boosters on the side of the main tank. There we go, goodbye. And well, we also have a slight increase in payload capability. But uh, you're going to see that a little bit later. A quick view from the cockpit. Everybody is calm and relaxed. The mission is going perfectly according to plan. Okay, and now we have set our apps at above 70 kilometers. We're making our belly turn. And you have already seen the payload. Yes, we're going to put an orange tank into orbit. So yeah, this shuttle can put a 36 ton payload into lower Kerbin orbit. Well, it can't do anything else very good because you don't have any delta V left to, for instance, well, maneuver to another craft in orbit. Oh, look at that gimbal wobble over there. And the tank is gone and we have switched to the OMS, which of course is just monopropellant. And we have to do another maneuver node, but that's quite okay. And we are circularized at 80 and 75 kilometers. Now let's ditch the tank, you have seen me showing you that it is indeed full and you can also see the readouts up top that the weight has dropped significantly, well the weight, the mass of course, let's stay with the physically correct terms. Okay, time to get this back. And now I have to say I have a little bit of a chip on my shoulder regarding my own performance of landings in the last few videos. So you may remember that I have crashed a lot of shuttles and SSTOs because, well, I didn't stick the landing. So I thought, well, I can do better. I have to do better. And this is actually the first attempt of me trying to land that shuttle that has just delivered that orange tank. We see some spinning going on, but we're still in the, have enough height so we can, well, remedy that as you can see here problem is we've overshot the main runway and now we have to try to aim for the island runway there it is well it's a little bit well the orientation is not optimal to say the least so we have to do quite the turn before we can land but, well, I've also included a drogue shoot, as you may have noticed, like the real shuttle, of course. And now, the hard part, getting this thing down onto the runway without crashing this time. Okay, looking good, looking good, and yes, perfect. Okay, so how do we get this thing back to the space center? Well, I have an idea. We have a shuttle and it needs to be brought back, so let's build a shuttle shuttle. This here it is, it looks bah, ugly, very ugly. And yeah, well, it can fly actually very well for its size and its obvious aerodynamic flaws. So I have to get this thing to the island airport. There it is over there. Let's make an approach from the other side. This is necessary because, well, you'll see in just a few seconds why this is necessary. Okay, let's turn this around. Don't crash. No, 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 not another crash. No, okay. Approaching the island runway. And touchdown. Let's hit those thrust reversers. Okay. Due to the fact that Kerbal Space Program does not provide us with 
a medium or large landing gear that has steering capabilities, I have to, well, I have to switch around with thrust reversing all the time so I can make a decent turn. You see that over here, left engines are reversed, right engines are forward thrusting. So yeah, I have to juggle around a bit until I get the effect that I desire and that is lining this beast up with the shuttle of course. So this is really tedious work, so squad, if you're listening or if you're watching, please include steering capabilities for the landing gear in KSP 1.1. I'll be looking for that as soon as the update is here, believe me. Okay, so... Whoa, I don't want to crash my shuttle shuttle into the shuttle. Press the wrong button there, I did not want to enter cockpit mode, I wanted to hit the brakes. So, yeah, this is hard. And it would be a lot easier if there were steering capabilities for the front wheels. Did I mention already that I really would like to have steering for the bigger landing gears? I really would like to have steering for the bigger landing gears. Okay, enough about that. We're almost done with our thrust reversing steering thingy. So I really want to line this up correctly because as soon as we're airborne, which I hope we will be, as soon as we're airborne, of course, the control surfaces of the shuttle influence the entire aerodynamics of the bigger craft. So yeah, but this is starting to look really good. Okay, let's check up on that. Yep, lined up well. Okay, and stop. No, just a bit more. Yes, that should do it. And let's grab that sucker. Landing gear down, claws engaged, and yes, we have picked up our shuttle. Okay, time to head back to the space center. Because, well, of course, they have rightfully complained that their main commander has destroyed so many shuttles due to landing, so they now want their reusability program to really work. So time to head back there and I'm going to skip a bit ahead across for the journey across the sea. Looking good so far. Okay, we're already on approach of the runway. Slowing down, trying to get this really flat and... Yes! We have stuck the landing, well, at least it looks that way. No exploding parts, nothing falling off, so yeah, I would call this a success. Okay, time to park this thing. So once again, we have to engage our very advanced thrust re reversal steering. Okay, heading back, heading up front, steering with the engines, okay, well, closing them up, so we have to travel a bit forward. And now for the final turn, I hope it will be the final turn, I don't want to do this all day. Okay, line it up nicely on those lines, perfect. Okay, so let's head back to the hangar and yeah, let's drop the shuttle. Down you go, girl. Boom! Safely delivered to the space center. So let's move the shuttle shuttle a bit up front. And I say thanks for watching. Goodbye.